Welcome back to another video. Today we are discussing England's squad for the upcoming Euro qualifiers. The announcement is going to be tomorrow, so I thought I'd tell you my squad. Let me know your squad as well. There's some controversial decisions, you could say. 11 players who were selected at the World Cup under Gareth Southgate. I am not selecting for this upcoming Euro qualifiers against Ukraine at Wembley on Sunday and it in Naples on Thursday night against Italy. So some big games really when you consider the group. Italy, Ukraine, North Macedonia, Malta and England. We should be coming at least fourth. We should be finishing ahead of Malta. We should be finishing ahead of North Macedonia and we should be just topping Ukraine and Italy. We've struggled against them recently but I think it should be an easy group for us. But Italy um, are a very good side as we know. North Macedonia, they qualified for the last year was, and Ukraine, we know that their threat that they can handle us, um, we faced them in the last year was as well. So it'll be an interesting group, and hopefully we can make it out, but these are two big games, and we really can't be affording to be dropping too many big points. 11 players from the World Cup were selected uh, from Gareth Southgate, but I haven't. Let's go through them. Uh, Harry Maguire, don't play for Man United, I'd have him as fourth choice. Um, for Manchester United, never mind England. Henderson, way off form at the minute for Liverpool and barely plays at the minute. I, I get that them two give experience to the younger players in the squad and maybe a good around the dressing room like Conor Cody, who also hasn't been featuring for Everton recently, ahead of Michael Keane. Um, and he's, th th there's better younger options who can come through the England squad and create a bit of a pathway um, you know, and just nurture them into the squad. I'd rather see that than... You know, Henderson, Maguire, Cody, Dyer go into the squad and not really play much, whereas you can use it um, to bring in some younger centre-backs or midfielders who can get involved in that environment. Um, but yeah, Dyer's not good enough and the other three aren't playing and currently are way off form. Phillips hasn't really featured for Man City. I think he's only played two or three games, if that, for Man City this season. Mason Mount not playing at the minute as well in Potter's good run at Chelsea with those back to back with those three wins in a row he hasn't been featuring and he's off form so I won't be picking him Wilson there's better options at the minute and he's been picked ahead of Isaac at Newcastle as well and really you only really want to be taking two strikers for a two game um, round Gallagher I've been playing for Chelsea Trent way off form Sterling off form and when he has played well it's only been decently well he hasn't really been you know, pulling up trees like Rashford, Saka and Foden, who, no surprise there, they are in my squad. Walker, he's got his issue and he's dropped off anyway. I would have been considering not picking him. And Aris James, it looks like he could be injured. And even if he has got a bit of a knock, I don't think Potter would be wanting him to be selected. So let's get in to my squad for the qualifiers. No surprises in the goalkeeper department. We've got Ramsdale, Pickford and Pope. I'll be doing a preview for the Italy game on Thursday, the day on, of the game, and I'll be telling you who I'll be selecting in goal for that and who I would prefer to be starting as England's number one. But there's no surprises, but they are my three goalkeepers for the qualifiers. On to right back, I think you will only need to be selecting two right backs or two left backs, and obviously with no Trent, Walker or James in my team, then Trippier's an easy candidate. He would be in it if they win top form anyway, because he's probably... He's, he's one of the best right backs in the league, and if not the best right back in the league, he's been absolutely fantastic for Newcastle this season, and he's probably been one of their most important signings. I know Gamares has been in Botman, but just for the experience, the leadership, and his quality that he's given Newcastle, he's been a fantastic sign, and he's got to be in the team, and he's well liked by Southgate as well, so he's a no-brainer for him as well. Kyle Walker Peters as well. Um, I've got two Southampton players in this squad and I'm not I, you won't be surprised if the next one is who, who I'll be mentioning but yeah Kyle Walker Peters I think he's had a good couple of games for Southampton under Ruben Shellers and over the last couple of years I've, I've really liked him and I think he's quite underrated and really who else are you going to pick when you look at that right back slot it used to be our strongest position we had so many exciting good young right backs or even some really good established right backs who were playing for England and Trent's off form, can't defend, and really Southgate never really trusted him. Van Bissaka come back into form a little bit, but even then he dropped off now and then. And in Ten Hag's preferred right back in my opinion, I think it is Dallo. Rhys James always injured, Lamp is always injured, Trippier coming towards the end of his career, Walker he's had this issue, but he's been dropping off and coming towards the end of his career. 
that position now is looking one of our weakest and it was one of our strongest so that's a funny one but Kyle Walker Peters gets in there for me. On to left back this is very straightforward the only person the only footballer who could be pushing these two is Rico Hendry at Brentford he's had a fantastic season or a couple of years actually he's been fantastic for them and he's underrated but I don't think he's good enough to get in ahead of Luke Shaw or Ben Chilwell who are just simply unbelievable for their four clubs this season. Chilwell, when he's come back into a side from his injuries, you can tell Chelsea are a much better side scoring on the weekend as well. Luke Shaw dipped in form recently, but over the last year, over, the, over this last season at under Ten Hag, he's been simply brilliant. Um, he had that tough game against Liverpool. I think he was a bit off it against Betis, but that's probably down to the relentless fixture scheduling for Manchester United. I've selected four centre-backs, I don't think you need to be playing five or six centre-backs and I would be playing a back four, so two for cover and you can rotate them in the two games. So John Stones, that's a fairly easy one, I think he's one of the best Premier League centre-backs in this league this season, if not one of the best centre-backs in the world, I think he's been underrated this season and he's been unfortunate but he's playing in a Man City side with Laporte, Diaz, Ake, Akanji and himself, who were all fantastic world-class centre-backs on their best days. So, I'd easily have him in the team and he easily starts. Does he start alongside Tamori or the other two? Um, Tamori's been fantastic for AC Milan and when he hasn't been available, probably due to injury, they've really missed him and this season they've dropped off as well as him because of his injuries and when he's um, come back from them, he hasn't been quite the same player. He, I think he had a tough game at the San Siro against Tottenham. Um, he had an OK game, but it was a tough one. And then that second leg at Tottenham, he had a fantastic game and was a man and match contender for AC Milan. So I would have him in the squad. And if he don't get in the squad, there's got to be question marks raised of Gareth Southgate. Ben White, now, I don't think he will be selected. He, has, uh, he had a disagreement during the World Cup with Steve Holland, if I remember rightly. And I don't think he particularly rates him. But he's been, again, fantastic in right back for Arsenal this season. He's versatile, so he's that utility player that every international player manager likes. He can play right back, so that's your third uh, position. He even could start ahead of you know, a walk beaters or even a trippier because he's been that good for Arsenal in that position this season. His strong position is centre-back and I think he would complement John Stones really well. But again, like I say, he won't be selected probably because of that disagreement in the World Cup. And then Lewis Dunk, it, this was a tough one, but I thought, yeah, Lewis Dunk, he's been fantastic for Brighton these last three, four, five years, and barely got selected for England under Southgate, and I think a bit under maybe Hodgson or Allardyce, he's been fantastic, really good with the ball at his feet, and he likes Maguire because of that, he doesn't have the pace Dunk, and if you are playing a back three, he'd be fantastic in it. I think Levi Colville from Brighton's been really good for them under De Zerbi as well. So that could be an option, but I think he's injured recently. But yeah, Lewis Dunk, for me, I'd easily have him in that team ahead of, like say, Maguire, Dyer, Cody. Um, I, I think he gives a lot more on the ball from, than them, and in one-on-one -on -one defending. And he's, he's been you know, very consistent for Brighton over these last few seasons, unlike those other options. Into the midfield, I've got Declan Rice, Drew Bellingham, obvious players, James Ward-Prowse, Elliot, Ramsey, and then Ruben lost his cheek. Now, the, this is probably the most controversial area of the pitch for me. Rice, Bellingham, James Ward, Prowse, yeah, they're probably more obvious options to be picking from. Elliot, fantastic season for Liverpool, probably their best midfielder, most creative as well, getting in good at pockets of space, um, and definitely deserves to be in it over Mason Mount for me. And Jacob Ramsey, very impressed with him at Aston Villa. It was a tough one between him and Joe Willock. I, I do like both of them. I think they're pretty underrated. I like Aston Villa's midfield four with uh, Louise, Ramsey, Kamara and McGinn. I think that they've got a real good balance to them. And I think Ramsey and Willock, they're good understudies to Jack Drew Bellingham. And they remind me a bit of them, the physique, the style of play. And I think it'd be good to have him in the squad alongside him. And if anything does happen, which is unlikely during the international break, it can come in or even be substituted for him. I think it'd be a good, a, a dynamical option behind Bellingham. And then Ruben lost the cheek. I put him in it either in Morgan's right or a couple of other options as well. Even maybe Henderson for experience, but I think we need to be going away from that and building for the future because England have some fantastic young midfielders and fantastic young uh, products coming through all over the field. 
and I think we need to be building towards that. But Ruben lost the cheek, versatile, that utility player, played in right wing back last weekend for Chelsea, played really well, bit, played in midfield a bit as well. I do really like him, um, and yeah, I, I think he deserves to be in that team for recent performances. But also, he's that type of Southgate player that he does like to use in different areas, and he's very reliable. So I think as that you know last midfielder option, I'd have Ruben Lusser's cheek. Into the forward areas, Harry Kane, obviously in the team, captain. I think he's joint with Harry, with Rain Rooney now for top goal scorer, and I think he scored his debut against Lithuania in a Euro qualifier in 2016. Definitely have him in the squad, obviously. Watkins behind him. He's had a fantastic season. Watkins, six goals, five goals in six, is it? He's on really good form and definitely deserves to be in the squad. Rashford as well, unbelievable form. Um, Saka, unbelievable form. Foden, coming back to form and flourishing in that Man City attack with Jack Grealish, who I would have in. Because I think he offers us something different if we need it off the bench. I think he's more of a Southgate player than a Peck player, definitely at Villa. But he's growing into that role at Man City and recently has got a lot better. Uh, so that, that's my team. Let me know your thoughts on in the comments down below. Let me know your team. Let me know you'd swap out from the World Cup, that those 11 players who I did. How many would you swap out? And let me know your thoughts on Southgate in general and your predictions going into a two games. I'm going to do a preview on the Italy game on the Thursday and there's daily videos on this channel. Also, if you're new, please subscribe. Trying to get to 50 subscribers before the end of the season. If you like the video, please like it. It does massively help and that is massively appreciated. And more importantly, comment your views on the England Euro Qualifier squad. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a good one.